Greetings, Lee Walton, Professor. This is part five of our lecture series on viruses and viral structures. Let's jump back in where we left off. Which forms this helical array. There's a number of other helical organizations in virus particles. Uh, the hypotenditis virus has an outer glow clean virusal cell. And as you can imagine, helical cells yield elongated particles that are a little unwieldy. Far more common is the isometric, roughly spherical character of the viral particles, which icosahedral symmetry, the icosahedral symmetry in the platonic solids, so to speak, uh, often are a representation, simply a representation of the object. And the object needn't have the icosahedral shape to have the symmetry necessary. And likewise, I could destroy this object and paint an asymmetrical object on each face rather than an object with threefold symmetry. Key. The icosahedral symmetry is, how do I explain, uh, represented or characterized by twofold axes, fivefold axes, and threefold axes. And if you placed a single asymmetric unit, asymmetric subunit, into a space governed by icosahedron symmetry, then operated on it with with the symmetry axis, you get 59 others. That means there's 60 locations in all, in all that are related to each other by these various...